exactly right. President Obama is expected to emphasize what he calls ladders to the middle class during next week's State of the Union address. It appears to be a change from an issue growing more complex and divisive with each day, the gap between rich and poor. Tonight, Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel explores the social fabric of income inequality. There is one key principle in the debate over income inequality. It's not about equality of income. How do people view income inequality? The answer is it depends. It depends on whether or not they feel that they have opportunity. Equality of opportunity, not of incomes or outcomes. And analysts point to several determining factors. One single factor that, that really jumps out at you, it's whether or not there are two parents in the home that has children. We see this connection between having two sources of income or earnings coming into a family and upward mobility. Because of the care and guidance two parents can provide. Two incomes, help with homework and discipline, often too much for a single parent. In one parent is very very difficult for that one parent to do all those things and serve all those roles. When a, a kid is born to a single mother, it's going to be harder for that kid, all other things equal, to make it in the world. Another factor, one that helps even single mothers, is education. For black single mothers with a college degree, 100% exceed their parents' family income. But it's hard for breadwinners these days with 10.4 million unemployed and another 6 million who aren't looking but would like a job, making it tough for those in the bottom to climb up. The thing that has traditionally pulled people out of poverty is economic growth. Right now there are nearly three unemployed workers for every job opening. Because we have not taken uh, enough steps to prop up the U.S. labor market. And many households in the bottom fifth have no one working. Giving someone a, a job is the best assistance that you can give them to get out of poverty as opposed to a government handout. It's so true. Analysts say poor people have a realistic view of what they can do to improve their situation. They think things like hard work and ambition are key drivers of that success. Researchers say poor people don't seem to blame those with more money unless they're denied the opportunity to better themselves. And a Fox News poll finds that only 13% of voters think government should take action over income inequality. 62% think that's just the way the economy works. Brett. Jim, thank you. The Dow had a